Hi, my name is Hamid Fathi. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are doing something cool. I'm going to build a smart app that can see text in images and read it out using AI. This kind of technology is called OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. In simple terms, OCR lets a computer look at the picture like a photo of a document or a screenshot and extract the text from it just like your eyes would read it but i will use a vision powered llm from olama to achieve this goal to make all the parts of this app work nicely together i will use something called dot and aspire Think of uh, .NET Aspire as a toolbox for building cloud-ready app. It helps you connect different services easily, like AI models, uh, database, Docker images, APIs. Run everything smoothly in one place and orchestrate your app like a pro. At the end of the video, uh, you will have a working web API app that means you can send an image to it and it will return the text it found in the image. Let's jump uh, in and start building this smart OCR app a step by a step. Uh, I just created a sp.net core web API project with the name of Olama OCR server. Let's uh, first clean it up. Uh, we don't need this model. Also in the program, we don't need authorization for this project. So let me remove it. And also here the whole code. So at this moment, I guess it's not bad if we add uh, Swagger a UI for this project. So I will add the package here. And by adding the package, I can set the configuration for uh, the UI in program.cs in here. Now it's time to add .aspire for the orchestration. So just need to right click on the project and go for add and .aspire orchestrator support and uh, click on OK. And we have it. Uh, always make sure you are using the latest version of .NETSpire. So we will go to App Host and change it to the latest version 9.3.0 and also here. Then we need uh, Olama. So Aspire help us for orchestration. So we need Aspire hosting Olama uh, to do things easily. So I will add the package here, as you can see. And by adding the package here, we are able to define Olama. So I will add Olama here. Let me save the project to fetch the packages and yes. So by that package, you have an extension method at Olama. Uh, you just pass a name and you can set a port 11445, uh, what I set. With data volume, it helps you to don't download the model every time you start the application. It will save it on uh, after the first time on your uh, hard drive. Uh, sometimes it's important you use latest version of Olama, but uh, the package doesn't use the latest tag, uh, so you have to override it. So I use the annotation and I passed uh, the Olama, slash Olama, the name of the image, you can find it Docker Hub, and the latest uh, tag, the latest version here. So in the next part, we want to use a LLM model, but as I mentioned, it should be a vision powered model. So I want to use Granite uh, 3.2. You can find it uh, in Olama library. As you can see, there is a batch here 
as a vision. Uh, so it's useful and exactly designed for visual document understanding. So let's back to the code. At this moment, we should force our web API, this part, to wait for Olama. So I need to change it to something like this. This is a reference, means this uh, server needs Olama and also will wait whenever the Docker is ready and the model pulled and it's up and running. Now let's uh, go to the web API and uh, add Olama Sharp because we need Olama client to pass our image and uh, get the result of it. So let me Click on this and save the packages. Uh, I'm using latest version of Olama Sharp. So uh, it's time to define our uh, minimal API. But as I said, we need Olama API client. So first we need to register it in our uh, IOC as a service so I will add it in here uh, I'm looking for AI configuration because we need Olama endpoint if it's available we'll uh, get it but if not you can use localhost and the port I set uh, in here in uh, .NET Aspire uh, orchestration so we can use this endpoint, but I want to also change the timeout because default timeout is 100 seconds and I want to have something more. For the, this purpose, you have to create a HTTP client and pass it to Olama API client. Now our minimal API have access, has access to this Olama uh, API client. So let's uh, create the uh, s slash ocr okay we want to post to s slash ocr what we get which is image uh, as a HTTP request and the Olama client we need to pass this image to the AI so first I'm checking if the content type is null or it doesn't start with the uh, image just show a bad request. And if there is an exception, just log it and inform the client about it. And setting this name and uh, add this to open API. The next thing is uh, converting our image to base64 because the Olama model needs a base64 image so we will create a memory stream copy data there convert it to array and use to base64 string to change it afterward we need to create a chat request the class the instance we need to tell Olama model what should it do okay in here we are passing a granite 3.2 vision and two messages first one is a system message I'm saying okay you are a professional assistant working as OCR to extract the whole text and the other one is a user message which contains the image or images and I'm explaining just extract visible text from uh, the image and no external information and for this one we don't need streaming we need whole uh, response at once 
Now let's see how we can ask AI. We need to call chat async, pass the chat request, and save the extracted data uh, as an output. In the end, uh, we need to pass the final result. But OK is not really good for this situation because it's considered uh, kind of a JSON. When, when you uh, check with the postman, it's uh, a JSON uh, format. So it's better you use something different. So I'm checking if imp uh, output is null or empty. Um, share the problem with the client, but then return as a text. If you return as a OK, content type will be, I guess, application slash JSON, but we want to have just raw text. So I will pass results.text. OK, I guess it's time to run the application and see how a .NET Aspire shines. Okay. As you can see, this is a page that Aspire shows us about the resources as you can see the olama the, in the docker installed if it's your first time i'm totally sure it takes time to install uh, the docker image and especially more time for installing uh, the granite 3.2 dash vision model uh, but after first time uh, when you did it once uh, it just work and you don't need to worry about it. So let's click on this URL. And as you can see, Olama is running. Okay, good news. And let me click on uh, this one and write Swagger. And you can see uh, the Swagger is here and seems our API is up and running too. So let's check how it works with postman i'm using this image as you can see uh, i just got it from wikipedia it's about batman cover of the dc comics absolute edition created by bob kane a bill finger so we want to see our application the ocr model can uh, extract uh, this information or not. So for this purpose, you need to use the local host and the port we saw in the Aspire and slash OCR, our minimal uh, endpoint. Uh, then in the body, you should uh, click on binary and pass the image. Now let's send the request, a post request to the server. And depends on your hardware, it takes more or less. Uh, let's see. Yes, as you can see, it works. We got the Batman, the cover of DC Comics, uh, Bob Kane and Bill Finger. So as you can see, our uh, LLM model with the vision powered uh, feature uh, was able to extract the whole information from the image and it works very well. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more coding tutorials and let me know in the comments if you would like to see more like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next time. Goodbye.